told of the construction on the right there with these cranes and barges, part of the engineering project uh, called the Thames Tideway Tunnel. So inside that site on the right hand side they are digging a very large tunnel to replace our sewer system. Up on the left you can see a red brick building with a tower on top, Stamford Walk. The top section of the building, the glass roof, is a restaurant. And that is owned by Harvey Nichols, one of the top ten restaurants in London today. It's very nice up there, it's very expensive. I took my mum there about four years ago now. It was a little treat. It was her birthday. I'm still paying for it. <laughs> so make sure you bring your credit card if you go. We've got some old filming studios on the left as well. Behind the trees, the lower buildings, and the office block behind a Kent House. And these are the old London based studios for ITV. So it used to be Channel 3 in the UK. They produce a lot of good shows for this country, ITV. Uh, the likes of Britain's Got Talent, X Factor, This Morning. This Morning used to be filmed on the left hand side. They used to use, well I think they still do, they use this stretch of river as a backdrop for the show. You can see our destination now, it's ahead of the boat. In fact, there's a nice picture if you follow the bridge to the left there. You've got the London Eye, the Parliament buildings, and there's a red double-decker bus crossing. So you can get all those in one picture. We pay that bus driver just for the picture. That was Dave. And if you miss Dave, Steve is coming the other way. So just in case we get to. Look, the bridge, Waterloo Road, known as the Ladies Bridge in London, was built during the Second World War by an almost entirely female workforce. About 80% of the labour on this bridge was done by women. If you've heard of a song called Waterloo Sunset, that's by a band called The Kings, that was written with inspiration of standing up on this bridge. And if you've heard of the song Waterloo, uh, that one's by a group, uh, it's called Abba. That has nothing to do with this bridge. Yeah, that's just a good song. It's catchy. So you got, on the right, you've got Savoy Pier, the silver sturgeon alongside. So it connects the river to the Savoy Hotel on the right. Okay, another very expensive hotel in London. And the Silver Sturgeon, a very expensive charter boat. To hire out the Silver Sturgeon on the right there uh, for a four hour charter, a basic price in the region of £25,000 for a four hour charter. On the left you can see the Royal Festival Hall. This was a concert hall built in 1951 for the Festival of Great Britain, a post-war morale boosting festival. With the likes of Shirley Bassey, Pavarotti, Frank Sinatra, Elton John, just a few big names performed in there. So we're going to go through the Charing Cross Railway Bridge, the Jubilee Walkway to either side. These are the last bridges today. Give them a little wave up there. So it cheers everybody up. Uh, I don't know if you notice, most people on these bridges, well, they're miserable. And when we smile and wave, they tend to smile and wave back. That man there, he did a London wave. You probably see that quite a few times, especially if you're driving. Yeah, a lot of London waves when you drive it. On the left hand side, you'll see the London Eye. 
a lot that I uh, a great financial success for this city. In fact, it was only supposed to be here uh, for a few years of the millennium. As it brings in so much revenue and tourism, it's still standing strong, coming up to 20 years on. It was designed by the Dutch. It was towed up the river in pieces, towed up by barges, and they built it face down over the Thames. And when it was completed, they hoisted it, they lifted it, the crane, into this upright position. On the first attempt, lifting it up, one of the cables snapped, so they had to bring it back down again. At the time, the owners of the wheel were British Airways. So Richard Branson, the owner of Virgin Airlines, the very next day, he hired a plane, ordered a plane to fly over London with a banner. And on the banner, it read, ha ha, BA, can't get it up. A true story there, look it up. County Hill is on the left, home to lots of London attractions today. You can see most of them from here, the London Dungeon, Shrek's Adventure, and the Sea Life Aquarium on the left. And uh, ahead to the right, you see the captain, he's angled the boat there. You get a lovely picture, nice photograph of the Palace of Scaffolding. मुझे तो अच्छा लगा लोगों से पूछे अच्छा आपको कैसा लगा